that while choosing martech we always looked at the kind of tools that would incrementally help us get to where we want to so we didn't want to invest in very large and complicated or very expensive tools because we were just getting started so that means that uh, tools that were user friendly tools that you know had free trials or you know smaller packages that we could kind of go in and get our hands dirty and figure out were always favored over larger bigger even more popular tools because as a team that's just scratching the surface on the whole marketing front as well as the martech front it's important to be able to be a little bit agile as well so we always opted for tools that gave us these benefits let us sign up fast you know get onboarded really quickly um were very easy to use because sometimes it was one member of the team working with multiple tools which meant that if there were very large uh, learning curves or a lot of documentation to go through to be familiar with the tool it wouldn't work so essentially we opted for martech uh, maybe some of the tools weren't as well known as some of the larger tools but tools that gave us an advantage in terms of flexibility agility pricing and uh, let us you know really start small and then gradually go as we go along and one of the learnings i would pass on um to anyone else also who's in a smaller team and who's really looking to invest in martech is look at where you're struggling as a team uh where you need to improve and how those improvements will help from the will help in terms of the bigger picture so as a marketing team if you're expected um you know to really help with lead generation and boost sales and revenue pipelines then that means you need to invest in inbound which means your website needs to be fantastic your email marketing needs to be set up um you need to have good content videos graphics and so on and subsequently when you map out these factors you will know that okay from a martech point of view these are the gaps that you have so one of the learning main learnings is take stock of the entire marketing function in its current state and your martech in its current state even if it's zero look at where you want to go the bigger role marketing plays in your organization and in your overall strategy and kind of work backwards rather than first looking at tools and looking at how they will help you look at where you need to go and um how the tools that you invest in or the martech that you invest in will help you get to where you want to go faster so overall that's uh, that's what i would say I think the best uh, martech decision that we made is a deciding to invest in martech and uh, really figuring out these two angles that we wanted productivity and then creativity and then going with uh, tools that uh, gave us the agility and the flexibility to invest in them um and be able to learn them and you know really uh, make sure that they were do it giving us what we wanted over a period of time so i think that uh, summarizes um, our whole martech journey last year